Samoa's nitrogen fertiliser decisions are numerous and changing. With the climate and with increasing volatility in global fertiliser and grain markets, Strategies applied by growers to apply nitrogen to various crops was the subject of a comprehensive phone survey of 425 grain growing businesses representing just over 10% of grain producers in GIDC's WA port zones, Geraldton, Quinana, Albany and Esperance. The aim to determine key factors that influence growers in their fertiliser decisions. And it's the different decisions that farmers make regarding how they apply nitrogen throughout the season. So it's decisions such as the rate of fertiliser, frequency, the type of nitrogen fertiliser and the time a farmer takes in making the decisions about these about what nitrogen they're going to put on. Yeah, so this paddock has had some um, variable nitrogen applications this year. Um, it's a beautiful crop, you can see it. This season? Yeah, absolute ripper. Outside of Mora, in grower Jim Hamilton's continuous cropping system, nitrogen decision making is key in his canola and cereal operations. Specific factors, you're agronomic, so we run to a nitrogen budget on a lot of our cereal and canola crops the timing and application of the nitrogen and logistics such as sourcing and type of uh, nitrogen that we apply. For the survey, factors influencing growers' decisions were grouped into categories of agronomic, socio-economic and logistics. Taking into account the survey was conducted prior to the current nitrogen price hike, which analysts believe will ease, the results revealed agronomy as the key influencer around growers' nitrogen fertiliser decisions. In the medium to long term, we don't expect this price spike in nitrogen to continue, uh, and we do expect agronomic decisions to be the most prominent, and especially how much growing season rainfall they have. Uh, expecting and the distribution of that growing season rainfall. We expect logistics to play an increasing role. The survey also revealed growers are applying nitrogen more often. 10 to 15 years ago, growers would apply it one to two times a year, with a maximum of three. Now, the rate is two to three times a year, to a maximum of five applications. A change linked to increasing farm size and profitability, and seasonal, especially rainfall, conditions. And how many times did you apply fertiliser on this paddock? Probably had about 100 units all up in three applications. Agronomics, obviously, probably the, the key factor in making sure the crop's in a healthy state and it's got the nutrition it needs. So that's obviously a key factor, but in the current market environment, economics are becoming a lot more important with the high input costs. So uh, we're becoming a lot more specific in how we apply it and the rate and frequency of application. Grower participation in surveys like this is crucial in helping GIDC to identify where to invest research dollars. This survey was also supported by the University of Western Australia and WA's Department of Primary Industry and Regional Development. It was critical growers participated in the survey to assist GIDC in understanding the factors influencing grower decision making. The project, alongside many others, helps to inform future GIDC research development and extension investment. The survey findings have been published in GIDC's Ground Cover and as a journal article.